another day that the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. I try to sad and hurt my bone, but the joy of the Lord is my strength. We will go to the Lord in prayer. O gracious Father, we come approaching your throne of grace through your Son, Jesus, because we know no other way to come. First of all, Lord, we just want to thank you. Thank you for your love and kindness, your mercy. Thank you for your goodness and your stretched out hand to deliver and let the captives go free, Lord. This afternoon, Lord, we're praying for wisdom and knowledge and understanding concerning your word. Most of the God, we pray for obedient spiritual bed. We ask in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, God. We pray for Israel, Lord, that be peace in Israel. We bless Israel with the food of our lips. We bless the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Say, so you bless Israel, you bless us, Lord. We thank you, Lord, amen, for your word to teach us, amen, what to do. Give you all the honor, we give you all the glory to pray. We come before you, present with thanksgiving. And we pray and we bless your name. In Jesus' name, Lord, we pray for the president and those in authority, Republican, Democrats, Lord. Let it be peace, amen, in the White House. Let it be peace in our house, Lord. Those who are not saved in that White House will be saved. Those who are not saved in our house, God. Lord, that you'll save them, Lord. We ask in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, God. We pray for that backslider, that son of man, that woman, that child. I walk the street, no place to go, Lord. Give my mind, I want to be saved. A mind, I want to stay saved and a place to live. In Jesus' name, we ask, O oh God. And God will thank you for it. My God, my God, my God, my God, my God. We pray for those got coronavirus, monkeypox, 401k, Lord, all these diseases, man, they come on this world, on the children, Lord. Amen. Heaven return back to you, Lord. Amen. The commandments come back in the street. Rika Shaka, Reshavai, the church that threw them out, Lord. Amen for the grace message, Lord. Amen. It's, amen. That's why they needed grace. They broke the law. Now they want to throw it away. Have mercy on our souls and help us, God. In Jesus' wonderful name of God. And God will thank you for it. Let God come back in the schools, Lord. The commandments come back in the courthouses, Lord. In Jesus' name. Everybody said, Amen and Amen and Amen. We got a powerful message as usual. Amen. We're going to be dealing with food. And it's going to be part two out of the book of Leviticus. And I got more groceries, amen, on it. I got better knowledge, amen, on how to teach it. And uh, as God give me more, then I'm able to, to give out more. Amen. If you give me less, I just have less. So the more you study, the more you get. So I studied a little bit more concerning this. Now I got a better understanding why God did why he wrote it, amen, in his word. So this is not for everybody. Just for the ones that want to change the way, amen, they eat. Everybody want to change, they like their stuff. That's why they're sick. Uh, I mean, from the preacher, amen, to the pulpit, amen, let's go all the way back to the pews outside the door. So we're going to give you the information, amen, that the Lord bless them with, and you're going to see how this thing really plays out, amen, and why God uh, said it that way because he created this body. All right, so the body only can take in what God has designed it to. You, you just can't put anything in that body. I know we, we do it because we ain't got no knowledge. And the scripture says, my people perish for lack of knowledge. We're going to give you some knowledge this afternoon, amen, concerning the foods in the book of Leviticus. Uh, we're going to start at... Uh, the 12th verse of Leviticus 11th chapter, the 12th verse is going to be part 2, because uh, we dealt with part 1 Sunday. Amen. And today is Monday. And whatsoever had no fin, no scales in the waters, that shall be an abomination unto you. An abomination of something disgustful. Uh, uh, and God is against that. Uh, that's an abomination. It is. It, God is not pleased with that. So he gives us instructions on what to do. And as I did some study on the fish, a little more study on the fish, oh, it's going to be off the chains as I did. As I did a little bit more study on the fish, now you're going to understand why he created certain fish to have certain things in it. So 
we can't go against that because then it's going to cause a problem. Uh, let's find out why it's going to cause this problem. Uh, we now learn that fishes have both scales and fins as, as, as a uh, digestion system. Now these fishes have a digestion system that way if they uh, take anything in they can get rid of it. Uh, say anything in the water that's bad. So God set it forth for them to have a digestive system. That's the way he created them, the one that have the fins and the scale. It protected them from absorbing toxins and poison from the waters they live in. God is awesome stuff. It's going to be awesome stuff. So just like your body is designed to get rid of toxins and poison in the body that come from the foods that you eat, and then your body is designed to get rid of it. Now, if you put more in the body, then you can't get rid of it as quick, and then you're going to end up getting sick. Uh, and then you're going to end up at the doctors, amen, trying to get it off of you. So here we see that fishes with fins and scales include heron, salmon, uh, organ rough, snapper, a cold, pollock, haydock. Uh, we dealt with... Uh, the Tilafi, Sunday. That's what Jesus Christ ate, the Tilafi. That's the type of fish he ate. So if you go study a man in, a, uh, in Galilee, uh, when he went fishing, that's the type of fish they was catching. Uh, I'm telling you, it's good stuff here. Flower, uh, to name a few. So they got other ones that have scales, and, and you got to have both the scales and the fin from the be the right fish to eat for the body, for the body. Amen. You ain't all spirit. Amen. You, 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 you're physical too. So we're not all spirit. Lord, have mercy, God. So God designed in His Word uh, to give us instruction. I said, I said, okay, what's the difference between those that don't have it? Well, the, the one that don't have it, that's the one that's harmful to the body. <laughs> so you ought to disobey. You ought to disobey the Word. You ain't hurt me. Uh, no, I'm, I'm seeking a I'm thinking to do it right. Uh, you do what you want to do. I'm thinking to do right. And what I'm going to do is study God's word. I'm going to find out what's right. And then I'm going to find out what's wrong. Now, let's look at some fishes that does not have these uh, scales and fins. You'll find that crawfish, a catfish, a lobster, who we eat that stuff, uh, eel, ostrich. We eat that stuff. I'm out of fins and scale. A clam and crab. They don't have fins and, and scale. So by them being in the waters, whatever, if the water is is is, is uh, messed up, like man messing the water up today, amen. That's why it's not it's not as clear as some waters are because it's polluted. So we got some waters today that's polluted. And so by them eating the pollution of that, and they don't have a way to get rid of it out of, out of the uh, body of the food that they that we eat, then this is why uh, God tells us not to eat these, because there's no way for them to get rid of the toxin or, or the bacteria that they come into their body. <laughs> God is somebody. Yeah, I think I'm going somewhere. I'm going to study. I'm studying the soul, and I'm studying the body. So... Uh, we're going to give you uh, the other side of that. We're going to give you the body side. Amen. We, we deal a lot with the soul over here because your soul will end up somewhere eternally. Amen. That's why God the one to do certain things concerning the soul because your soul can be lost just as well as your physical body. Amen. That the soul is in. It, it can't live in that body very long if you destroy it with smoking, drinking. Uh, Lord, have mercy, God. Living like you, know, you want to live. And eat what you want to eat. Uh, go ahead. I'll put you on the proud list, but I ain't following you. Not me. Not after I come up with the knowledge why God did it. Amen. Why he said it like that. Amen. That's his creation. All right. So now I got some ideas. And here's another one going to tell you uh, some information. I got some good information here now. That's going to give you a little bit more knowledge about uh, the one that don't have it and what, why uh, it's harmful to your body. Another question that may have come to, to thought is whether fish without scales are harmful. 
So the one without the scales, that's the one that's harmful. So then I looked at the word harmful, meaning cause or likely to harm. So the one without the scales, they're likely to harm you physically. Oh my God, I know you never heard this before. Uh, CNN don't know nothing about this. Fox Channel 6 and Channel 12, they, they don't know about this. The reason for this is that the fish without scales are more susceptible virus and bacteria. Uh, so they, they, they end up with more virus and bacteria in that body. So once we eat, once they don't have the scales to protect them from coming in, then we end up, you know, because it tastes good. Okay, we got five senses. We got five senses, so we, all of us don't have five senses now. Once you understand where I'm coming from, hey Amen. I'm gonna break it down. We got five senses. All right. We got eyes. We got smell. We can see as a sense. You see. You smell. You taste. You hear, and you touch. As the five senses. Now, if I don't know how to control them five senses that God put into this body is going to control me. Now, my eyes <laughs> and seeing. Now, everybody can't see, but the ones that can't see, they looking at play ball books, uh, soap operas with their mind. They look at all kind of junk on TV with their mind. And it goes into the soul and calls them to sin against God. So, if I can control these senses that God is teaching me here how to do it, with his name, with, with the blood. The Bible says we overcome it. We overcome it because of the blood of the Lamb and the word of our testimony. That testimony is Jesus Christ. Amen. You find that in uh, Revelation. Amen. Uh, Revelation 12, chapter 11, verse. And Revelation, the 12, chapter the 17, verse. Amen. And we had walk. So we're doing a warfare along with our taste bud. We're in a warfare with our sight. We're in a warfare with our hearing. These are senses. Amen, that God put in us. Amen. So now since we're in this warfare, amen, we better learn how to fight. Or oh, it's going to whip you. I don't care who you are. Bishop, Dr. So-and-so, Pastor, Baptist, Teacher, Paul's Prophet. It doesn't make any difference who you are. Amen. The rule is for everybody. The same rule is for everybody. And you're going to see why John the Baptist, he ate locusts and wild honey. We're going to get there. Hopefully we get there before, before the time runs out. Amen. Why he ate that. So he knew what to eat. John the Baptist did. He came on the scene. Oh, there's awesome stuff here now. Amen. It's awesome stuff. So now we see that uh, if I got knowledge then of something, then I'm not going to take it and put it into my body because then I got knowledge to know that, that that's going to harm. Because the word of God is showing me that it's harmful to my body. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Well, John, we're on page 144, and we just read the Leviticus 11, chapter 12, verse. We still and, on uh, commandments? Huh? We're on the commandments? No, we're on food now. Okay. This is part two. About okay. We did the commandments Sunday, right. and then we got right. into the food on part one, and we ran out of time. So where are we at? So we have Leviticus, page 144. 11 chapter, the 12 verse. 11 chapter, the 12 verse. And we just got to dealing with the fish. And we gave the instructions so you can call it, you can go back to Facebook and catch that part. Okay. Amen. I caught it yesterday. Fish. Why God designed these fishes for us to eat. Okay, he's something that he didn't design. That's why he tell you what about the other fishes, what can cause problems to your body. So here we get getting what? We get knowledge. Get who? Knowledge. My people have what? Lack of knowledge. We ain't gonna like knowledge that these bottles in those jobs. We're gonna have a lot of knowledge. Now what you do with it, that's something different. But we're definitely gonna put it out there. We're gonna put the knowledge out there where you can get it. And you can go to Facebook and get it if you want to get it off of that. Hey man, because we hey man, we show it on my share to those that want it. Now they're gonna be some folks that ain't gonna want it. They ain't like eating that junk they eat, that's why they're sick. Mm -hmm. That's why they what? Sick. That's why they're sick. Uh let's go now. To uh, the 13th verse, as the Vesgas, uh, Lord, how many say? 11 and 13, page 144. And now we're going to be dealing with birds. Uh, it's not too many people teach out of this, but it's, yeah, it's, but it's right there in the Word. 
How, it's in the word. Is that word? About what how many times you going to teach? None. None. One. One for sure. I'm, I'm here. Hey, <laughs> Jenny, I love that. How you doing, Miss Zach? Get a little hey, God, all that stuff. Zach, get in the house. Thank yeah. God to see our brother. Amen. So now we go on the birds. Now, they're going to tell us what birds that we can eat. Now, I know God created everything. Mm -hmm. And he said it's good when he got through creating it. But then he made a difference between what was clean and unclean. That's what we want to learn. We want to know, learn the difference here that God set for his people to know. Everybody don't know that. There's uh, going to be a hand, two cubes don't know that. And that's the ones that want it. The ones that don't want it, they ain't going to pay no attention to that. And they're going to keep going to the doctor, mm. give them the medication. The medication got side effects. Yeah. Well, if the condition that you call your, eat the food that's causing the problem and sin, you got two things that call it, sin. Uh, mm. Sin is one of them. And, and eating the wrong kind of foods is another. And so you can be doing both. You can be doing that. I say both of them can be happening at the same time. Now, if you live in holy and you and you sick, then just only one happened. So we can correct that. Mm -hmm. Through what? Through repentance and prayer and reading the word. Reading that word. Yeah. Amen. And getting knowledge. Getting the knowledge we need about what's out there and why God did it. So here God is telling us why he did it. Now, here we're going to see some birds that he created, but there are some birds you can't eat. Yeah, these are them. Uh, this is it right here. Mm -hmm. uh, these are they which you shall have an abomination among the fowl. So fowls here is birds. You're going to see, uh, in a, uh, as you go down, you're going to see fowls again, but that's insects. <laughs> what are we going to do with the birds right now? It should not be eaten. There are an abomination. The eagle. You see anybody eating eagles today? No. Here, you, ever, you ever see it in, in yeah. H-E-B? No. No? You're not going to. <laughs> All right. So you just don't eat that now because the meat is not good. Okay? So we want to learn out what foods that's actually good for the body that you created. That, that, that's what we want to gain knowledge at now. It should not be the abomination and the eagle, the ostrich, ostrich, let's see, and I got one there that's vulture. Yeah. You ever seen anybody eat vulture? No. Seen a well, vulture eat a lot of things. Just so like they eat a lot of dead stuff. stuff. A yeah. vulture eat a lot of dead stuff. Yeah. So is that good stuff to eat? No. So it's not good what they eat. So God don't want so to eat. So if you eat a vulture, you're going to eat what they yeah. ate. Yeah. That's, that's what we want to get to see here. We want you to get you to see in that Facebook, Facebook friend. And then I'm talking to my friends out there. Facebook friend, we want you to get you to see that a vulture is not good to eat. Because he eat dead stuff. So God wants to eat that. And the, the kid, after their kind, after his kind, so they're different. Uh, oh, let me see. Let's go back over here. Uh, and the kid after the, Wait. the 14 bird. No, no. Finish 13, Pastor. Uh, I, I didn't finish 13. Uh, Thank you, Brother John. So, Osprey. Uh, that's uh, what buzzer. is that? A buzzer. A buzzer. Just like a, uh, yeah, the other one. The yeah. vulture and the buzzer are their cousins. They do the same thing. They, they, they eat their stuff. Eat, eat their stuff. So God that wants to eat the buzzer, even though he created the buzzer, and, and he, it was good, everything he created, but something ain't good to eat. Uh, we want to make the stick to that. Separation. Separation. Yeah, it is. What's good to eat. All right? So you don't see buzzers in a, in, 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 in crows. Mm -hmm. All right, let's see. No. All right, so, Lord, that's what said there. Fourteen bird, and the vulture and the kid... As it is kind. So they they run together. Yeah. Yeah. You, you don't see a buzzer running with a mm -mm. blackbird, do you? Mm -mm. What do you see running with a blackbird? Blackbirds. Oh, blackbirds. <laughs> <laughs> they own kind. And they're kind. Yeah. So they run with their what? They own kind. They own kind. They call somebody how you got this thing set up. Even the animals run with their own kind. And you know that kite is probably that's a smaller bird. But it's still a vulture. It's still in the vulture and buzzard. Right. Because, right. yeah. And it's small with that. It's good for John. You saw that. Hey, man, 15 bird. They give a lot of hands out of time for this word. This is good stuff here, John. Hey, man. You learned it here today. Every raven after his kind. So he, he, he ravens run with ravens. Mm -hmm. And an owl and a night hawk and a hoot hawk, hawk and a 
Hawk, Hawker, Alfred, yeah. his kind, they run together. Yeah. That's why they say the birds and fellow what? Flock together. Mm -hmm. Amen. So a person that's doing wickedness, who are they going to run away? Wicked people. Wickedness, they run together after they kind. I, how I know about that? I used to run with them. I had, I, in fact, I was a leader. I had three guys follow me and wrong stuff all the time and we're getting locked up. Before we was having some fun, I don't want to more that time. I'm through with it. Uh, I ain't running with after they kind no more. I'm running with a different group now. I'm running with those that want to be saved. I want with those that want to do what is right. Amen. Let's go. Now, what's wrong with that picture? That's going to be after my kind. 17 five. And the little owl and the cormorant and the great owl and the swan. Now, you know what a swan is? That's a big white bird. They're pretty. They got a long neck. Yeah. Yeah, they, they're real pretty birds. Yeah, but they predators, though, found out. Huh? They eat other, they eat, <laughs> they eat baby alligators and anything. Yeah. Yeah. I just so they, 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 they eating right. No, they're not. So that's why God the ones that eat yeah. them, because they're not eating right. Yeah. So it's going to be wrong for us. So he's telling us what he's separating here is the foods that we can eat. And if we follow that, our body will be healthy. Can't go wrong with God. Because he, 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 he the creator. All right, so here, uh, Lord, how about I say? Uh, the swan and the uh, uh, pepkin and the uh, gear eagle. Ain't nobody eating that stuff mm -mm. today. Mm -mm. If they are, there's something wrong with it. Mm -mm. 19 five. And the stalk. A horn after hit her kind, and a uh, left wing, left wing, and the and the beat, the bat, bat. You know, anybody eat bats? No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I've ever seen anybody even try. <laughs> eat bat. Eat bat. That's not never. Oh, they, they be flying everywhere. Yeah, they not be, especially. Yeah, especially yeah, they dangerous yeah. birds. And Zach, Zach said, huh, he must have something about them back. Amen. I, I don't want none of that. All right, so now we're going to go on the 21st. Now, notice are all fouled. Here is the, you are finally talking about insects, because then you're going to tell the difference here. Now, I went to another translation, and it gave me insects. So that's how I study. I study different translations and see what they call it. All right, so in another translation, and then you're going to see in this here particular King, King James Version, it's got to be incense because of the description of it. Right. Creepy thing. Yeah. All files that creep, gone upon all four, shall be an abomination unto you. He's talking about the insects now. Mm -hmm. Look at that 21 part. Yet these may you eat of every flying, creeping thing, that go upon all fours, which have legs above their feet, to leap with upon the earth. So could he be describing frogs right there? He, he, described, he could be uh, talking about a, 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 a locust. Right. And he's going to be in the next verse. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right. So I'm going to have to go on only what I can get out of the verse, right. and in that next verse, you're going to see Logan. And then what we're going to do, we're going to take away John the Baptist, but in Matthew, the third chapter, uh, the fourth verse, what he ate. Uh, let's go to the 22nd verse. Even these of them, you may eat the locust after his kind, and the ball locust after his kind, and the bell after his kind, and the grasshopper. After his kind. Now, he's telling you we can eat a locust. I don't know about the mother. I have to do more study to find out what they look at. Now, here's what I'm going to do, Brother John. When, when, when we get back at this again, I'm going to get you to pull up with the look, the image of it, and we'll, we'll put it on Facebook. Okay. We'll show Facebook what it looks like. Yeah. Because I did that with a few of them to see what they look like. Oh, yeah. Uh, the swan. I, that's how I knew what, what the swan looks oh, like. Oh, yeah. They had an image of it. So Long man. what we do for Facebook, man, let them see, hey, man, the animals that, you, that God tells us not to eat so that way they, they know what we're talking about. And we're going to go a little bit further with it. Hey, man, we want to help everybody that, that want to be helped. All right, so look at, let's go to page 1137, Matthew 3 and 4. 
That's not the true true. Matthew is the third chapter. This is John the Baptist. And this is why he ate that, because that's what God, amen, told him all right to eat. All right, so at page 1137, Matthew, the third chapter, first verse. In those days came John the Baptist preaching in the wilderness of Judea and saying, Repent, ye, for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. For this is he that was spoken of by the prophet Isaiah, saying, The voice of crying in the wilderness, Prepare ye the way of the Lord, make his path straight. Now, if you do more study on John the Baptist, that was Elijah, the spirit of Elijah came on. Who, who can do that? God. God can do it. He put the spirit of Elijah on John the Baptist in, the, in, the, in his mother's womb. Full of the Holy Ghost. Mm -hmm. He was born full of the Holy Ghost. Yep. That's awesome stuff. Here. It is. Who else is born? In the, Jesus. Jesus was born of the Holy Ghost. So they leaped. Yeah. And John leaped when he, when he Jesus, came close to Mary. The Bible said he leaped in that womb. Lord, how blessed God he is. You know it's Jesus. That's all. The baby inside the womb. They said, ain't no baby that, that them people don't know what they're talking about. It's inside the womb. Don't let man deceive with that. Killing them babies. Now look at that fourth part. And the same John and his raiment of camel hair and a leading girl about his line and his meat. All right, let's look at meat. What meat is? Uh, chapter 3. And uh, 2. Three, four. That would be... Uh, Three and four, and you look at number three, it's talking about food. Alright? Was locusts and what? Honey. Wild honey. Wild honey. Now there's different kinds of honey out there. Oh, there yeah. There's different kinds of honey. You got raw honey, uh, and then you got uh that that's un unrefined, it's raw honey. honey. And then you got honey that's been refined. Yeah. So there's different kinds of honey. So I've been studying on that too, but y'all to find out what best honey. I can have for my body because of different types of honey. Yeah. Now you're so I say, okay, if John the Baptist ate wild honey, that's the best honey you can have. Yeah. It healing for the body, it helps your body out physically, and it, the wounds and stuff to your body, and you got a lot of uh, so the wild honey is the, the honey that hadn't been messed with. Well, that's straight that's from the, the bees is wild. Yeah, it's straight from what Zach asking about the honeycomb. Yeah. That's the that's the honey from the honeycomb. Yeah, it's honey from the honeycomb, but they wild. Yeah, they ain't, ain't, ain't been messed with. They ain't had nothing to do. Yeah, ain't they ain't had nothing to do. That's God did that. Yeah. So that's the, that's the best that's honey that you can actually find. If you can find out there, they got Amazon some. Amazon got some. No, they got some local. Silsby. My little nephew go up there and get get his. He get his. Yeah, Silsby? Yeah, in Silsby. He get it for you. They got you. wild honey? God, it's, 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 it's unremessed with. It's straight. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I need to find text, text me there where, where you Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm going to talk to him. Yeah. I, he didn't mention to me. He, he go up there uh, every, once every two. He's getting for his mom and him. Yeah, I'm trying to do better. Though. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah I, I, I'm, I'm doing people that don't want to do better. Yeah. They yeah. want to keep eating the same junk, going to uh, the doctor for I'm yeah. doing that foolish. These old country folks up there, he, he get the eggs and he get what he, you know what I'm saying, what, what he, but it's, it's straight. Straight yeah, oh, yeah, it ain't, it ain't yeah, been it tainted. Ain't, ain't been tainted. Ain't been tainted that's, that's the best you can have. Is, yeah. is something that ain't been, that's why I buy a lot. I try to buy a lot of organic yeah. because mm -hmm. they ain't put no chemicals on it. Right. So when they put the chemicals on, we eat them chemicals. We eat the chemicals. Yeah, we eat them chemicals. It's, causing it's them. in the food. Yeah, that's, that's, that's in the food. They ain't helping your body out. No. But, but it's, it, it, it's supposed to be good for you, but it can't be good for you with the stuff that's on it. No. It's not good to you. Yeah, not good to you. Because <laughs> yeah. you're eating some, some green. green. You don't know how much chemicals on that green. Yeah. So yeah. organic would be the best uh, to get if yeah. you don't get some. If you can find it. If you can. That's the key. That's the key right there. It's going to be a little it. bit more expensive, but it's worth it, though. Well, that's the reason why it's more expensive, because it's the way they grow it. Yeah, the way it's supposed yeah. to be done. Yeah. The way it's, and so it's going to be more. Uh, right. Thank you, cheap. Come on, there you go. You're going to get what you pay for. You're going to get what you pay for. That's a lie. Uh, so now we, we dealt with, amen, John the Baptist, what he ate. Let's go back, amen, to uh, Leviticus, amen, 11 and 22. Uh, 11 and 22, even those of them, you may eat the locusts, as with, uh, as with John the Baptist there, locusts and wild honey, after his kind, the bald locusts, after his kind, the, uh, so that, that's, they, they got a certain kind of locusts there, mm -hmm. and a bever after his kind, and a grasshopper after his kind. So the grasshopper is not a locust. 
So they're different, they're different uh, 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 species one, one, here that, that God created. Amen. One, for all, for, but all other flying, creeping things which have four feet shall be an abomination of you. So, okay, so I got to go find out, amen, what he's talking here. I have to get some knowledge of what he's saying it can be abomination. Abomination is, is, is wickedness, it's evil, to me. it's not good something. As making claim. Mm. It's not good son. 24 dry. And but then she shall be unclean. Golly. Whosoever touches the causes of them shall be unclean until the evening. Whosoever bad aught of the causes of them shall wash his clothes and be unclean until the evening. So you couldn't even come close to something that was dead. Mm -hmm. If it if it's dead, yeah. Lord, Lord, have mercy. I know that folks want to teach this. The powerful stuff here. Now we're going to be dealing with uh, animals at the 26th verse. Mm -hmm. And then we're dealing with the insects. Now we're going to deal with animals. So God got everything in his word for us to learn, if you want to learn. Right. Fish, the fowl, which is the birds, the fowl, which is the insect, yeah. and now the animals. Animals. Yeah. Okay, so we're giving the literal knowledge about his creation. Mm -hmm. And how and what he did with his creation for our body. 26 verse. The cause of every beast which divided the hoof and is not cold footed, nor cured the good, or unclean unto you, every one that touches them shall be unclean. Is a hog chew the good? Yeah, it's unclean. No, <laughs> he shouldn't be. He don't chew the good. He, he don't got a cold foot, foot, but he don't chew the He got a split foot. So the so, chewing the cud, that mean the camel like? Chewing the cud. I would think. He chewed a good, but he don't have a full little foot. No. So, he, so they both got to go together. So. Right. So so he good to eat then. Huh? If, if they not, if they don't have the combination of the. Common, they have, 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 have like the scale, like the fish. The scale and the, and the fins got to be on the fish. To eat. You can't have one fish have a scale, got and then you got another fish got a fin, but no scale. Then that, that becomes where you can't eat that. Yeah. And they got Because they don't have what it needs to get rid of the taxes that I. But I, I get I got the definition of why they got a digestive system with the scales and the thin. Right. And they, God did that. He right. created it like that. And they can just get it out. They can get the toxins inside of those that don't in the water. Yeah. But the rest of them can't do just that because they don't have that to get rid of. And if that we eat that, we eat in the inside all the toxins that yeah. It makes sense. That God is But it tastes good though, God is awesome. And then we put on a barbecue pit and make it taste better. Yeah, but that's okay though. We still eating the stuff that's inside. Yeah. <laughs> no, yep, me too. I'm telling you, this is for me, brother John. I'm in my body. I'm going all the way to learn how God designed things. Amen. So if I'm learning how you design things, then I can learn what I need to eat and what I don't need. So if I see a brother or sister preacher, pastor, Baptist, he's a part of the property and all that stuff, I'm going to put him on the property list. I'm going to put him on the property list. Yeah. Pray for him. See, that's how I got this message because this preacher could preach and he was sick. I thought I ended with this message. I said, wait a minute, something don't sound right. And, and the Lord knew. He, his, his artery is plugged up. And I, I got I got some information, amen, on your arteries, what, what plugs up the arteries. Mm. Amen. I had I got some information here. Stuff amen. you put in your mouth, Pastor. I could tell you that one. I, I could uh -huh. tell you it's the stuff that you put in your mouth that's clogging your arteries. Well, we're, well, I was going to call the names out though. I understand. Yeah. But, it, but, but them they things. got 15 foods that may help prevent clogging artery. Right. So we got 15 foods that we can help prevent it. And then we got the foods, a man, that can create it. Yeah. So what I did, I wanted to find both sides. Here's a list of the nine worst foods that clog artery. All right. So what we're going to do, we're going to unload that while we're on it. Yeah. Uh, I want mine right now. I you want, want your one? Yeah, I want it. Okay, well, I'm going to have to give it to you after the show. Okay. okay. I just got one. All right. Uh, I, I got some other drugs in here, Brother John. I got food to help a vet to treat gallstone. There's a lot of stuff I got in Yeah. But you see, I didn't run no other copies but one copy. All right. Uh, so if I want to find yeah. out, hey, amen, the list of foods that call the artery, see, now what he's going to have to do, the preacher, you're going to do that. Now, the Lord didn't heal him, but what if he go back doing wrong? It's going to be worse. Huh? It's going to come back on him. 
Yeah, it will, and it'd be worse. Yeah, yeah, because his body already yeah, then got went through that already. Yeah. He's already tearing his body down. So it ain't going to take long before it go back the other way because it's already been attacked by that. Wow. All right, so something you attack and it just got healed and you go back and do it again, that's like a wound that never got healed. healed. If you got healed, you, you feel better. Right. And the doctor can't find it. Right. But then if you put it back in, it ain't going to take long for it to come back. Right. All right, here, here's, here's one of them, butter and margarine. Mm-hmm. God. Whole milk and cream. I don't know what he been eating. Ice cream. High fat cheese. Yeah. Processed or cured meat, including hot dogs, pepperoni. S A L A M I. S A L A M I. Salmon? Hold on. It could be salmon. No, it ain't salmon. No, it ain't salmon. That's something else. Oh, uh, I won't give it. Nobody want to pronounce that as being salmon. No, it's not salmon. Give me that. Uh, pat- S A L. Let me get back over there. S A L A M I, and see what Google can give you the definition of that. And then I'm gonna continue. Salami. Huh? S A L A M I. Yeah. Salami. Salami. Salami, like a lunch meat. Lunch meat. Yeah, it yeah. got a lot of fat in it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because I I made some of that. Come on, you can. Yeah, you can get them either way. You can get them in a roll. They, you cut them. And it, it tastes good, though. Yeah. Okay, so here's what we have with the five senses. Right. The five senses is seeing, mm-hmm. smelling, taste. taste, hearing, and touch mm-hmm. as your five senses. Right. All right. So if I didn't know how to control these five senses, they get out of control because they like things that taste good. Right. But the scripture tells you these, these, these foods is not good for you. Right. I thought bluebell tastes good. <laughs> oh, I'm trying to taste me a bit, y'all. It was made to taste good. Yeah. So that, so that it, yeah, it, it put a lot of uh, sugar in it. Right. And sugar feed cancer. Right. All right. They don't crick the cancer, they feed the cancer. Right. So sugar tears down the good cells where you have good cells in your body that God put in there. That's why He gives us these foods. To help the cells in the body and the nerves that's in the body. Mm-hmm. And to help the eyes. Yeah. And help the, the hearing. Yeah. Food even helps in your brain. Right. Food even feeds your brain. Yes, it does. All right, so here we got sausage. Uh, you know, we eat a lot of people eat sausage. And so forth. Red meat. Right. Like beef, pork, and lamb. All right, so that's why it plays a daughter. All right, palm and palm. Curl all, palm all, and curl all. Baked goods, including pies. I mean, they like uh, we yeah. like them. Oh, Fish yeah. them holiday. Oh yeah. Roll around. We eat all that kind of pies. Cakes. I mean, they eat them cakes on holiday. Oh, mm-hmm. oh, 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 we, we, oh Lord, have to do it. Cooking. I mean, eat cooking. Oh, we eat them cooking on holiday. Yeah. Uh, Cruises and so forth. Coconut products like oil and milk. And coconut got some fat in it. But for a while they were touting coconut oil. That's what you cook with. That you know they were. Yeah. I, 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 per- I, I, I used to buy the coconut. Yeah, me too. I'm, I'm, I'm in the shop there. Well, I don't buy it no more. I done kind of got away from the oils. Yeah, and I found out. There. Yeah, them oils. Now, olive oil is good. Too. Olive oil is good. Extra olive virgin. Good moderation. 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 Not too much of it. Not too much of it. Can't hurt you. Yeah. yeah. So anything too much of anything, even water. Yeah. You drink too much water, it, it, it can hurt you. Yeah. So you have to have a, a amount where you won't get hydrated. Right. So there is a, 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 that's why you have to study how much water is supposed to go to the body daily. That's and it, and it, it depends with the water what you're doing. Because if you're exerting, if, you, if you're yeah, pushing if you, out. If you're losing more, yeah, if you're losing more the more you put you in. Gotta, you got to put it back in, but then you got to have a certain amount. amount. Yeah. Yeah, you, you can overdo it. In. Yeah, you can't overdo it. You don't want to overdo yeah. it. And thinking that you are replenishing when you're over. Yeah. yeah. So that is a, that's still a, a there is a some mileage there. Yeah. That you have to put in there. I think moderation is good on I mean across the board and that's the Bible talks about it, you yeah. know, doing moderation cuz Now I got some more foods in there, brother. Got they more. Like Fried food. Yeah. French fries. Yeah. Chicken nuggets. <laughs> oh. Yeah, long today. Onion rings. Done. Fish sticks. Done. Now we got some foods that unplug off. Mm, 
that's what I want. Because we're going to give you, we're going to give you, we're going to give you that too. Amen. So I, I do a lot of study, Brother John, to try to help the people out, help the people of God out. They want to be helped, because everybody want to be helped. Um, let's see here. I know I want to be helped, Lord. Yes, yeah, Lord, me. I do too. Yeah, help me, Lord. Help right, right now. He can't do it without you. Start right now, Lord. Okay, how can I help prevent gallstone? Uh oh, let me go get my other one out of here. I told you I got all the groceries here. Uh, I'm not going to deal with gallstones right now. Uh, I want to finish dealing with uh, foods that can prevent uh, the stuff from happening. So we want to learn what causes it, and then we want to learn what can prevent it. Best foods to uh, reverse kidney. Okay. Uh, let's see here. How arteries arteries can become plugged. Okay, let's deal with that. Um, Fifty percent of deaths in Western countries. Okay, I just got one side of it. Finally, have a seat. Bears is one of them. That's them blackberries, mm -hmm. okay, or uh, raspberries, strawberries. Then you got your beans, because you can see you got that fiber in there. Yeah. Keeps that stuff flowing through you. <laughs> then you got your fish, omega-3. Mm -hmm. Now, we dealt with the fish earlier, which one we could eat. Not just any kind of fish now. So a fish that had that omega-3 that God gave us instruction what we can eat, so that's got to be good fish. Yeah. All right. Then we got tomatoes and tomato products. Mm. Now, if you have arthritis, it's not good to eat tomato. Really, the tomatoes in there can cause all the arthritis to flare up. Mm. <laughs> so it's not good. Tomatoes is is good for what? To a yeah, to, to if you don't have a problem. Right. See, that goes back to knowing what you can eat, even though you know it's good to eat. Is it good for you? Right. That can cause you a problem. problem. See, that's where the that's where the doctors. You know, that's where your blood type makes a difference because right. it might be good, but because we yeah, have different yeah, blood types, yeah, everybody can't eat the yeah, same. Can't eat the, and, and you can't. You giving them the same medicine across the board. Yeah. Oh, if you got high blood pressure, you take this, but it, it's not good for that. That no, medicine's not good you, for you. You, you might be allergic to, to, to something that's in there yeah. that's causing me, but it's good for you. Right. But it's not good for that's me. But the doctors don't care because you're. And so that's why you got to have knowledge, knowledge. in yourself. Yes. Yeah. To know what's going to on. To know what to do. Onions. Can also be. Oh, I love onions. Onion good is good to. Uh, well, you can unplug garlic. Garlic too should be garlic. Okay, <laughs> and then you got citrus fruits. Uh, delicious for vitamin, vitamins, minerals, and antioxidants, including uh, flavonoids. F L A V O N O I D S. So citrus fruits, hey amen, is good. I, I eat those things too myself. Uh, Decrease in inflammation and help prevent free radicals in the body. God created that mm. to help the body now. For oxidation, yeah. LDL, bad cholesterol, and not the bad cholesterol. And oxidation of LDL is associated with arthritis development and progression. So you got good cholesterols and bad. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So the body is the one that causes the bad cholesterol. Yeah. yeah. The, the bad but, fats. Yeah. Call bad cholesterol. The so board. the good fats, maybe three, that's what's called the good cholesterol. Right. That's what so I'm I got to have knowledge of that. Keep them. All right. This may be circuits coming. All right. Then we got spices. Mm. You got spices that I'm calling. Like ginger, ginger mm -hmm. uh, pepper, chili, and cinnamon. Yeah. That's what I'm talking yeah. about. Ginger and cinnamon is too good. So if, if this preacher knew to have the knowledge, he could have got his own artery unplugged without the pride. Because now he got the pride, he got healed, but if you still ain't got the knowledge, you will go back. Gonna come it. back home. Oh, yeah. It's right there waiting now. Uh, wait, wait for him to go back doing it wrong again. And so that's what happened a lot of Christians. They go back doing the same thing wrong. And then they want to <laughs> know how to come here and stay healed. Well, that's because you ain't got the knowledge to know how to do it. Flexi. 
is another one. Or uh, powerful house of nutrient. So I, I'll take flex seed and put in my, in, uh, in my uh, child seed and flex seed, amen, in my smoothie. Amen. So flex seed is another one. high in fiber. All right. Then we got another one. That's number eight. And then crucifer vegetable. Lord, have mercy God. Uh, like uh, broccoli, cabbage, cauliflower. Now these are good, amen, for your body, amen, because it's going to give you the nerves and the flush out uh, the stuff out your artery, that way it won't plug up. Oh, it's on today. Amen. Let's look at number 10. We've got 15 of them now. Amen. Bless God. Beets. I know some people don't like beets. A rich uh, a nutrient, which your body consists of uh, nitric oxide, and a significant molecule that plays many essential roles in, our, in your body. Now, I also got information on each one. Now, I ain't got time to go through all that now. So I'm going to just bring out the ones, amen, bless God, that's good, amen, and you know, unplug the arteries. Oats, uh, nuts and seeds. Now, everybody can't eat nuts and seeds, so you got to find out if it's good for you. Leafy green, amen. I, I like green, leafy green. Kale is one of them. Large spinach, a uh, char, char uh, Swiss chard. Uh, these are, uh, uh, Lord, how much say, leafy green. So it got the, the thick pack of potassium. The memory hip event, uh, vascular calification, a process that contributes to author, author corneas. Oh, Lee, that's a big name there. Uh, so green, I, I make smoothies out of green. Uh, I'll take me a, I'll take me a, a, a spinach, a kale, a broccoli, and I, 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 I put it up 75 percent. Put uh, alkaline water, 9.5 pH, pH water in it, and then I put chai seed, and I put uh, Lord, how much say, uh, flex seed in it, and then I put the fruits on top of it, uh, under 25 percent, and then I turn on the blender and make me a smoothie. Oh, you talking about good? That's good to buy. Uh, now, cocoa and dark chocolate, everybody can eat that. Right. So you got but dark sure. chocolate is good for you, though. Huh? Dark chocolate. That, yeah, that, that, that's chocolate, good for you. Yeah, that's but you got to be careful. Don't eat too much. Too much. Of, that's a pure. Because it's got caffeine in it. Yeah, it don't eat too much. But it's good. Much, I found out that's good. Can, can get you. Oh, yeah. Well, if you overindulge in it, it's, it's, it's good, too. It, it yeah. tastes good, but it's that, it's that natural dark chocolate. That. And here's the number 15. Because we had, had 15 of olive oil. Mm, so olive oil is good. It, it's, a, it's rich in high fiber, be, uh, vegetable beans, and olive oil. It is long been, been associated with improving heart health. Olive oil. Yeah. So uh, you got to eat that in moderation as well. Amen. So we gave you all, amen, some extra groceries here. Amen. So, amen. I've been talking to Brother John. I'm going I'm to uh, run him some copies, amen, before he leaves from here. So he's he going to run out of here with more knowledge. Yes, sir. Lord, have mercy. I, I like knowledge because it's going to help us to Get stay away from them doctors. All right, let's go back to page 144. Amen. The is in the 11th chapter. 27. Which one, Will? 27. 27. Thank you, Brother John. Whatsoever goeth upon his paws among all manners of beasts that go in all four, Though, those are unclean unto you. So the Lord made it unclean because, you know, the body cannot take that in. It's going to cause a problem to his body because of what they do. Right. <laughs> because of the animal does. He's out of heaven, does y'all. I let other people want to hate. Too many people want that kind of help. But God wants to help. He wants to put knowledge. Amen. Uh, Whosoever touches their carcass shall be unclean until the evening. So he made it unclean until the evening. 28 dry. And he that bad the carcass of them that shall wash his clothes and be unclean until the evening, they're unclean until, until you. So they have to wash your clothes. But what we got today to wash us up with? The word. The word and whatever. The blood. 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 <laughs> Heard the blood. <laughs> that's where the blood cleans up, up yeah. Yes, sir. Uh, so yeah. we put that together. You gotta go. Uh, they go together. Put yeah. <laughs> in that These also should be unclean unto you among the creeping thing that creeping upon the earth. Uh, the, the, the weasels and the mouse 
Huh? And the tortoise is after the, his kind. And, and, and torture is after his kind, so you ever see them eating mouse? No. Now, now the tortoises, which is a turtle, people eat those, and it's not, then it's just shouldn't. Uh, they eat turtle. Eat turtle? I would never eat another one. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I ain't no turtle man either, but no. All right, so here we got uh, us crawling animals. That's crawling animals, in that. And in uh, number 30, these are crawling animals. And the ferret and the chillin and the lizard and the, and the snail, they crawl. That, and, that, huh? that word, that C-H-A-M, chameleon. Chameleon. That's the one of them uh, lizards that turn can turn its colors. It changed color? Yeah, if, if it's up against some green, yeah, it it you won't, okay, you won't see it. It'll change, so, you know, don't eat that. Don't eat that. That's okay. a lizard. That's a form of a... That's good. That's one that changed color. All yes. the changing color. Hey, man, God knows somebody how they do that. And the mole. Uh, third one, but they are unclean to you among all that creep it. That's one that's creeping and crawling. Whosoever do it, touch them, them, they be dead. Though they be dead, should be unclean until the evening. That's the second part. And upon whatsoever any of them, when they are dead, do fall, it shall be unclean whether it be any vessels of wood or raiment or skin or sack, whatsoever vessel it be, when any work is done, it must be unclean until the evening, so it, so it shall be clean, cleansed. Third, third part, right. in every earthen vessel, my God, where unto any of them that falleth, whatsoever is in it, shall be unclean, and shall be, and it shall break it. Amen. Third, fourth part, of all meat which may be eaten, that all which such waters coming shall be unclean, and all drinking that may you drunk, uh, and drink, drink, drunk in the evening, uh, such vessels shall be unclean. So he's telling us, hey amen, that these things is unclean. He made, he, he, his word did that, made it unclean. He spoke it. <laughs> he spoke it to the John. What they ate in the, in the book of Genesis? They ate fruits and, I mean, vegetables and you know, they, yeah, they didn't herb. eat no meat. That yeah, was herb. herb. Yeah. yeah, they didn't eat no meat. Yeah, they didn't eat no that meat. That was no big meat. That's an herb. Yeah, herbs and fruits, huh? Yeah. <laughs> now he, he tells me, bring a little bit more where he can understand more foods that he, all the mountains is out there and the fish is out there. He want, want us to know, what amen, kind of what we can take into our body. You know, Pastor, I'm just, just me. So the things that we're supposed to eat, the other animals eat. It's you know what I'm saying it's it's food for it's the nature. You know what I'm saying we're not to eat those things, but the other animals eat those things, and that that's how they survive. Because if we ate everything, it wouldn't be nothing left for them. Yeah. God, God is God is awesome. Yeah. He feeds those animals. He feeds those animals feed those anim with the other animals. It's yeah. a it's a process of life, even right. in the sea. And the, the that bird that I call out, he got a long he got a long uh, foot. Legs and he go and he grab them, them uh, fishes out of yeah. the water. Mm -hmm. That's and the he eats fish. Swan and I found out they they some the, 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 a lot of the ones with the long necks and the long legs. They you know they and they, then too they get ate up too. Yeah. Certain t places they go they oh, become yeah. they become yeah. a victim. Hey, yeah. hey, everything food for one one even the lion. He's right. He, he, That's right. He, he, right. He want to eat us too. Yeah, he do. Oh, he do. Yeah. And he get ate. I mean, he get killed. You know what I'm saying? He get killed by other lions. They eat them. They eat their own. That's just how it works. It's you know, and I, I've seen I watch some specials on them lions and them when they're young and they 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 run and stuff. When they get old, some young ones come behind them and do them what they did. You know what I'm saying? Uh, alligators. Who, who they want to eat? See, alligators want to eat anything. But then they got some. They got uh, the jaguars and uh, the other ones eat the alligators. Yeah. They eat caiman. Yeah. They go in the water and get them. Yeah. You know what I'm and saying? They love each other. They are. But there's always somebody a little bit tougher. <laughs> well, the hyenas, the hyenas eat the lions. They fight the lions and they'll, they'll eat. If they I catch mean, one, catch one by itself, yeah, yeah they'll, they'll eat them. Them all, but right. the lions eat them too. Yeah. <laughs> the lions it's eat a fight going on. Oh, so we're in the what? We're in the fight. We're in the fight. Yeah, we're, we're in the fight against, against food. food. Yeah. We're in the fight against our eyes, our, our, all our senses, senses, our hearing, yeah. our tape buds. Uh, our touch. touch. So when you touch somebody that's not your wife, it's unclean. That's unclean. That's the same. Yeah. Did y'all get that same book? 
And, and man, if you touch somebody, and woman, you touch somebody, that ain't your husband, that's unclean. And God ain't pleased. He said the adulterers in the front of the kingdom, as in the, in the book of Matthew, as, no, as in the New Testament, amen, that God going to judge that. Amen. Bless God. God going to judge. Let's go to Romans 13 and 4. I believe that's where we can find that at. Let's go to Romans 13 and 4. As in the New Testament, amen, uh, not to do that. Romans. Uh, let's see, let's say 14 and, oh, uh, doubt it, sure, another, uh, let's see, that's not in there. 13, 50, it 30, might be 16 and 4. Let me go to 16 and 4. Okay, let's see here. That, that God going to judge the, the adulterers and the front of the kid. I want you to get that from the brother John. Okay. Amen. While I go back here. Amen. I feel like we're right straight to uh, it. Uh, we'll see you then. So let me go back over here. And then I don't like to waste a lot of time looking for that. Uh, so if you can find that from it, you can uh, just Google it. And Google will tell you exactly what the scripture is at. Follow me, which may be our uh, 34 eaten, and which was where water coming shall be unclean as 34 grows. Drink that we will drink, and even such vessels uh, shall be unclean. That is their part. And everything where upon any part of their causes fell shall be unclean. Whether it be a, a, a oven, be in, be, it be oven or range for pots, uh, they should be broken down, for they are unclean, and should be unclean unto you. Amen. Nevertheless, a foundation or pit, whether there is plenty of water, shall be clean. But the, that which touches their causes shall be unclean. Let us satisfy. If any part of their causes fall upon any sown seed, which is to be sown, it shall be clean. But if any water be put upon the seed, and any part of their causes fall thereon, it shall be unclean unto you. And if any beast of which ye may eat die, he that touches the causes there shall be unclean until the evening. So you cannot eat something that's dead. You got to kill it first. You got to be alive, then you can eat. But if it's already dead, and it had been killed, somebody, in other words, the animal killed it, or somebody might have shot them and left them for dead, uh, and you're supposed to get it right then, and then you can eat. Father God, and he that eateth of the cautious of his shell Wash his clothes and be unclean until the causes be it was washed with clothes and be unclean until the evening. And every creeping thing that creeping upon the earth should be an abomination, it should not be eaten. So he telling us a man what to eat and not to, whatsoever goeth upon uh, the belly, and whatsoever goeth upon all four, or whatsoever had more feet among all creeping things that creeping upon the earth, then we should not eat. Lord, I bet you, Lord, created all this stuff, and now you tell us what we can't have. But uh, there are an abomination. You should not make yourself abominable with any creeping thing that creepeth, neither shall you make yourself unclean with them, that you should be defiled thereby. For the fourth part, by the Lord your God, you shall therefore sanctify yourself. Sanctify means to set yourself apart. You shall be holy, for I am holy. Uh oh. Got to be just like God. Because God don't eat that stuff. If it shall you defile yourself with any manner of creeping thing that creepeth upon the earth. 44 cry. Find the Lord that bringeth you up out of the land of Egypt to be your God. You shall therefore be holy, for I am holy. This is the law of the beast and of the fowl, and of every living creature that moveth and then in the water, of every creature that creepeth upon the earth, to make it different between. The unclean and the clean, and between the beasts and that you may be eaten, and the beasts that may not be eaten. God did. I didn't do that. Amen. God said it for it. So I'm trying to learn how to take care of this body better. That's my prayer, Lord. Let me take care of the soul. Amen. With your word. And then take care of this body with food. Amen. And then give me wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. Because, Lord, I can't do this without you. I really can't do it. Got too many people around me eating wrong. 
So now I need you to help Herman, amen, because you don't want to do right. Uh, that ought to be your problem. You're going to have some people that ain't want to do that. So you're going to have to pray for yourself, ask God to help you do right. And it's personal. Have found a good job? Yeah, I found a couple. Uh, 1 Corinthians 6 and 9. Uh, know ye not that the unrighteous shall not inherit the kingdom of God. Be not deceived, neither fornicators, nor adulterers. Now, well, uh, well God going to judge that. He said God going to judge the adulterers and the fornicators. Now, the one that's that you... Uh, Hebrew, that's uh, Hebrew. Hebrew. That's it, brother John. You on, you on it now? Hebrew 13 and 4. That's it, brother. That's the one I'm looking for. That's exactly the one I'm looking for. I knew you were going to find it. I just had to make sure you got the right one there. Yeah. That's the one I want to talk about. That's page 1439, chapter 13. Marriage is honorable and all in the bed of the foul. Yeah. So God spoke his word on a marriage uh, is undefiled in marriage. Not men with men because he's against that. And not women with women. That's an abomination to God. He taught a man and a woman now. Yeah. Uh, and all in the bed and the fire, but homemongers and adulterers, God will judge. He didn't give that to nobody else to judge because you don't judge it right. So he's going to take care of that part. But then he tells you, he tells us in his word what is adultery and what is fornication, what is the whole market. He gives his word to let us know what it is. So that way you won't, we won't be part of that particular situation that is against God. So I don't know how people think they're going to escape God's judgment by doing things against God when he's going to judge us according to our works. As in the book of Revelation, Jesus Christ spoke of it. All in the book of Revelation, you need to study that. Revelation is a book, a man of prophecy that's coming to pass, and there's seven plagues that are going to come on this world. Amen. In the Old Testament, he sent ten plagues to Egypt. Now, in the New Testament, he's going to send seven. Now, these seven plagues that he's going to send is not going to come on his people. It's only going to come on the disobedient, the ones that have gone against him, against his law and his commandment. That's the one that's going to come on. And I won't be with that cry. No. I love you, brothers and sisters, but not that much. No. Not that much. Not that much to go against God. Amen. Lord, how about you? Let's join you want to take your little care of that. Yes. Amen. Let's do our scripture exercise. Lord, Hold on. your word said, what, two or three? What, two or three. Touching the green. Touching the green. Accident.